you don't have to feel like shit to win. I believe that this is a common misconception, an emotional response taught by the media. You can succeed without hating yourself, and without feeling miserable throughout the journey. But ultimately, this comes down to emotional mastery. If you're on your journey of self-development, and constantly in search of methods and practices to achieve new standards, you're constantly exposed to hard content. The picture of men going through struggle, isolation, misery, and pain to achieve great things. And in all honesty, that is the truth. But often the displays of working hard is conveyed through so many negative connotations. Now for the longest time I felt this way throughout my entire journey of growth and self-development. And as cringy as it sounds to verbalize, I do want to become a top 1% man. And I'm sure you want to say it. But in order to achieve that, you need to have emotional control, financial stability, leadership, confidence, and self-belief. You need to look presentable, be organized, and in good shape. And these things are not easy to achieve, especially not simultaneously. As men, we have a lot of responsibility. You are the leader of your household. You create stability in your home, your family, your life. Now, for the longest time, I thought I had to be miserable. I thought that feeling negative was a core contributor to my success. But ultimately, this just created a toxic environment and I was in constant conflict with my body image, which translated to negative relationships with food. I was constantly financially stressed despite making 20 to $30,000 a month in profit at 23 years old. I had a loving family, I had a loving relationship, I was financially abundant, yet I chose to feel unhappy. And this mindset, it didn't motivate me to want to do more. Instead, it created emotional resistance, drained my energy, developed unhappiness, and drastically pushed me away from my relationships. You do not need to feel miserable to achieve great things. You can still have high standards, unrealistic expectations, without feeling sad or depressed. There was a period in my life where I was heavily relied on feeling stress. To me, I associated stress and pain with success, and I became heavily dependent on that feeling. I thought that I had to hate my life to create a sense of motive, a sense of urgency. It was emotionally exhausting, and I did not want to live the rest of my life like this. I came to realize that I had to make an internal change. The journey will be difficult, you will go through rough times, and you will lose people. You decide how this will impact you and how this will impact the people around you. Things take a long time to build. And to succeed, you really need to find peace in chaos. Find peace in the mundane and find peace in the pain. It's going to get repetitive. Every single day is going to feel cyclical. You need to embrace the repetitiveness. You need to embrace the hardship accept the struggle, and convert that stress, that pain, that negative feeling into peace. Peace is something I've longed for. It's something I've been wanting for such a long f***ing time. I thought I had to look a certain way or make a certain amount of money to achieve this level of peace, but that wasn't the case. Peace is established internally. I still have big goals and have a long way to go. I will allow myself to feel satisfied with my situation, but I will never allow myself to stay in my current situation. This is a perspective you need to establish if you want peace. Constantly seeking for more without the gratitude of your current situation will leave you empty. Five years ago, I was working a regular job and studying my bachelor's degree in university. I was making about $500 a week. My physique at the time did not compare to today. I was in a toxic relationship and didn't have the best relationship with my family. I remember waking up constantly unhappy, I lacked purpose, and continually thought, when would this cycle end? I felt empty and my life felt completely meaningless. Now fast forward a few years later, I was in a much better financial position. I was in better shape. I was trending on social media, reaching 16 million people in a single month. Now, my life on paper was great. It was beyond great, it was fucking phenomenal. But internally, I still felt the same. Don't get me wrong, it was definitely exciting at first. But after a few months, I found myself waking up unhappy again. I lost my sense of purpose and came back to the same thought of when would this cycle end? I later realized that no matter how much money I make, how many people know my name or how many views I get, or even the way I look and how much muscle I put on, I will never feel fulfilled because I'm not allowing myself to feel fulfilled. Being aware of this problem, I've spent the past few years continuing to build my body, my mind, my relationships, and my business while practicing emotional control throughout the entire journey. Although I'm nowhere near where I want to be ultimately, my emotional state has definitely been a lot more consistent. And the one thing I've come to realize is that it's a lot easier to go through the process 
with passion than spite. Imagine waking up and actually looking forward to go to work. Waking up excited to go to the gym. Waking up and looking forward to discomfort and growth. For the longest time, I genuinely thought I had to feel miserable. I had to feel like shit. I thought that I had to hate myself and hate my current situation in order for me to want to do more and to be able to do more. Life ultimately is a mindset, it's a perspective. You control what you see. Now there are definitely things in life that we can change, but one thing we always can change and can always control is our physical and emotional response. Do what needs to be done to get to where you want to be is something I always used to say to myself, but three years later, I want to add to that. Do what needs to be done to get to where you want to be with a smile on your face. Don't let your stress leak externally. Don't allow it to leak into your relationships with other people and with yourself. Learn to control it, learn to accept it because stress will always be a part of your life no matter what situation you're in. So learn to embrace it. I went to Houston one time and met up with a friend of mine. He's a graphic designer for Chris Bumstead, Christian Guzman, and a ton of other really successful fitness brands. And I remember him sharing this one story with me. When he'd meet bodybuilders during expos while they're in prep, physically and emotionally exhausted. Every time he'd go up to them and ask, hey man, like, how are you? They'll just smile and say, I can't complain. But that's how life should be approached. Have big goals, have big dreams, work your fucking ass off, but do it with a smile on your face. Doing things happy is so much better and so much easier than doing things depressed. If you go back and watch my earlier content, listen to a few podcasts I uploaded in the past, all the themes and topics were so depressive. And one of the biggest lessons I've learned throughout this crazy journey is that happiness is ultimately a choice and that life can always be a lot worse. So just be grateful with where you are, stay hungry and stay focused on where you want to get to. Ultimately, what I want you to take away from this video is that the journey is going to be f***ing hard. It's going to be stressful and it's going to suck. But during those times, learn how to smile because the problem is never as big as it feels. Learning to be happy is ultimately a skill set. Appreciate your success, appreciate your progress, but always strive for more. Allow yourself to feel satisfied, to feel content, but never allow yourself to stay in the same situation.